Hey folks, thanks so much for watching my video today. We are recapping issue number 8 of Boom Studios, Saban's Go Go Power Rangers, written by Ryan Parrott and illustrated by Dan Mora. We start off a little over 10,000 years ago, and I feel like with these Go Go issues, they tend to start off with a flashback first before getting into the main story, uh, just something I've noticed. Uh, in the first segment, uh, we see how Goldar became a servant to Rita and briefly get more backstory to his character as well, which in the show, Goldar was just there and you didn't know uh, much about him or his motives or, you know, for, or why he joined with, you know, Rita and Lord Zed. Uh, but these comics in general, they do a fantastic job at giving depth to characters, explaining certain characters, you know, in the Power Ranger universe. Now at Angel Grove High, picking up where we left off in issue number seven, everyone is scattering and evacuating the school due to the monster invasion. We also see the real Matt Reeves is concerned and wonders where the five friends took off to. Then we see the full form of the super putty, as I call it. The Rangers are doing their best to take down this monster that not only hurt one of their friends, but also deceived all of them. They also learn that this putty is very different from any other standard putty Rita has created before. This super putty honestly doesn't want to kill the rangers and seems to have a, a conscience of its own. We also see that this monster can shapeshift and remold itself causing this fight to be more challenging than expected. It's honestly pretty grim yet awesome to see a monster in the Power Rangers universe that is so creepy in terms of its abilities yet humanistic in character. And we see glimpses of that with this super putty in this comic. Soon the putty monster loses control as Rita has now taken full control over its mind. The monster then grows into giant form and at that point the rangers call the zords. The monster has now taken the form of the megazord and this monster isn't going down that easy. The rangers are getting uh, their tails handed to them by this monster but the blue ranger remembered what Zordon said they have to let the Zords guide them, so they need to split up. Now, I thought this segment was cool because it referenced back a few issues ago where the Rangers were training intensely with the Zords and in this fight we see that that training actually did pay off. Each Zord has a unique ability uh, that the Rangers can harness. This monster knows each of the Rangers moves pretty well individually, but when they work as a team, the enemy was overpowered. And just like that, the rangers finish this monster off nearly splitting it in two. Now back at the command center, we see Zordon speaking to the team of teen heroes. With all Zordon asks of the team, the sacrifice they put in with friends, family, and their dreams, Zordon assures them once again that they exceeded his expectations and he is proud of them. Jason then goes on to say they couldn't have done it without Billy, and everyone agrees that Billy truly is one of a kind. So the question remains, will Billy choose to stay on the team? I mean, it's obvious, we know he's gonna stay on the team, but it's interesting to see you know, how certain things played out in their lives, especially with the whole thing with Promethea and these challenges you know, with Matt Reed. Now in the hallway of Andrew Grove High, Bulk is dumped by his homecoming date and tried explaining the situation. Skull, however, shows up in the nick of time and understood that Bulk only tried to do what was right. We see that Bulk and Skull are not just the bully goofballs, but are growing into characters in the Power Ranger universe that also look to do good in their own way. Then things get a little awkward when Jason and Trini converse. He tells Trini that the imposter Matt told him that Trini liked him. Then Trini says that the monster was lying to him just to distract and divide the team. Jason then asks if they're still friends, and Trini responds by saying, yep, just friends. And you can't help but feel some unsettled tension between these two characters, which makes me curious how this relationship will get resolved down the road. Flashing over to Billy's house, his dad noticed that some of the tech from Promethea was in the trash and asked Billy what was going on. Billy then goes on to say that he won't be joining the organization and has given tremendous amount of thought about it. His dad is super understanding and knows that Billy is smart, so if he feels Promethea isn't for him, he trusts his judgment. We then see that Zack and Kimberly visit Matt's home to check on him. They only get a chance to talk to his mom as Matt hasn't been eating and stays locked inside his closet traumatized. I mean, you can't blame the kid. Any teenager abducted by aliens would probably be messed up mentally after the encounter. 
Now at Ernie's, Zack and Kim converse about if Matt knows if they are the Power Rangers. Kim is practicing her gymnastics and says, the key is to pick a spot, stay focused. That way, if a distraction tries to knock you down, you don't even notice. Zack comments saying he was talking about Matt, and Kim says she knows. And when it comes to love, there's always a heavy price. Then we drift into a new image of a new ranger, whom I believe is Kimberly the Pink Ranger in Lord Draken's world. I mean, we never knew exactly what happened to Kim in the first place in the alternate universe. And with that ending commentary in this comic being centered around Kim, I have a high feeling we may see the evil alternate version of Kimberly Hart. Also notice Finster uh, on this image with the Pink Ranger. And this Pink Ranger says they must bring their Lord back to be continued. Well, if the Shatter Grid teaser trailer wasn't enough, this comic definitely has got me itching for more and I'm truly excited to see how this comic event pans out. What did you all think of this issue? And what are you most excited for in the Shattered Grid event? Post your comments on this video and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell for future notifications. Thanks so much for watching today guys and until next time, wham, bam, boom.